Photo scanning apps. Are they any good? Should we be using them? And what is their place in saving and sharing your memories? Let's check out Photomine and see what it's all about. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that little bell to be notified every time I release a new video. You have so many options to scan your photos from flatbed scanners to fast speed photo scanners, to camera scanning, to using a professional photo manager like me to do it for you. But there is also your smartphone to scan your photos. Is that really an option? I am talking beyond just taking a digital photo of your printed photo, I am talking specialist photo scanning apps. They are a quick and easy way to be able to digitize your photos, but how should you use these funky little apps? Let's have a look at Photomind to see what it's all about. What is it? So Photomine is a phone specific app that you can use to digitize your photos simply and quickly by using your smartphone. You can scan negatives, slides, and even scrapbooks, but it goes beyond just scanning your images with some pretty cool extras. There are apps for both Android and iPhone. There is a free basic version you can use, but if you want to upgrade, the pricing varies from $5.99 to $47.99, depending on the plan that you choose. How to use it. To use Photomine, it is as simple as it gets. You don't need to spend a lot of time learning how to use Photomine to get started. Just line up your photos or whatever you want to scan, pick the type of media you are scanning, make sure there is plenty of light with no glare and press and hold the button. The app will auto crop and rotate your images so you can do more than one photo at a time. But just keep in mind, the more images you try and squeeze onto that screen, the worse the digital quality is gonna be. You can keep your phone even steadier with a specialist stand to put your phone in. And once you've got the images, you can save them to an album, add a title, the year the photo was taken, the location, and even your own note if you want. You can easily share your photos by inviting others to look at them with a link, email them, or share on social media if you want. You can view your photos on the app, but you also have a web browser version. But this all sounds a bit basic and nothing very sexy. Well, hang on a minute. The extras. As Photomine is app, this is where the fun is. It can do way more than just scan your images, so you can have a bit of fun. So let's have a look at just some of my favorites. Firstly, you can colorize your black and white images. I tested it on this image of my mum when she was younger and asked her what color her dress was, and this was pretty spot on. Then you can animate a face in an image. You can select an image with a face in it and it will animate the face to actually move. Maybe slightly creepy, but also kind of cool. But my geeky favorite is the text conversion. If there is text near your photos, it will scan the text and convert it into digital text. So you can add it to the photo information. I tested it on French and it still picked up most of the loopy written words. So pretty cool. I mean, there is also way more than this with sharpening faces and scanning the back of photos that you can then link to the front image, but you can go and have a play. My thoughts. When it comes to digitizing your photos, I am all about that it is better to have something rather than nothing at all. If you can't afford a scanner or you don't have space, then your phone is a good option, as long as you know the limitations of what you are doing. The digital quality is limited to the camera you have on your phone, and if you want to enlarge those photos to hang on your wall, it's not gonna cut it. However, a specialist app is going to be 100% better than just taking a photo on your phone. So please, please don't do that. When it comes to Photomine, I think it's a great app that does more than just take a picture of your photos with auto cropping, colorization, and some really cool added extras. So worth checking out. Also, I find app developers are quicker with innovations and improvements. They are always adding new features to keep their apps the best new thing which is always gonna be great.
There are a couple of things with Photomine that slightly bugged me, in that when you download everything, all of that lovely information that you put into your tags, any voiceovers, notes, come up as a separate file. So they are not actually attached to the file. So there would be an element of sorting that you'd have to do. Also, you can't invite others to add their own comments to your photo collection. You can just share. So you would again have to do a bit of maintenance to get that information in. But the fun way that you can play with your photos more than makes up for that. If an app is what you want to go for, you can't go wrong with Photomine, especially with the option for a free basic version. How would I use Photomine for my photo legacy? I would use it to capture stories. I love the voice notes you can add and the text conversion. I would take a higher quality image with a specialist scanning option, but go for Photomine to capture my stories as they are just as important as the images. So there you have it, how to scan your photos with your smartphone using Photomine. How do you scan your photos? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.